in this video I am going to show you how to configure the SSRS uh, reports through reporting service configuration manager and first initially we need to open all programs go to SQL Server 2008 R2 in that configuration tool click on the reporting service configuration manager yes and uh, the while installing the uh, SSRS uh, sorry while installing the SQL Server 2008 R2 you have been created as some instances so that it's taking that instance which we need it but here I'm going to show you the report server demo this is nothing but the report uh, the SQL Server instance name okay initially connect to this if you connect this and it it should be this service should be started this web service so if you start started you can check from the service.msc go to run check in the services.msc here we get that you can check whether that service is running or not so you can see here like uh, reporting server demo that's the instance name of the server and you can see that it's running it started automatically and we are using logged in as a network services okay then once this is started you can go to the service account so it's almost uh, it's a uh, by default it's a network services as we have seen in the uh, uh, services it's running on the network services so we don't want to change anything here uh, go to web service url here this is the virtual directory this is the name of the server where we can uh, give in the url and this server name we can change here whatever name we required it so suppose i'm going to give here like uh, uh, report server as my virtual directory name and uh, whatever changes we make here we need to be we need to apply apply those changes click on apply to save the changes once this uh, web service url is created successfully so we you need to go to databases and uh, current database report so we need to change the database here create a new report server databases next i'm keeping the current credentials before going to anything please test the connection here to succeed it click on next so report server is a database name by default has taken that and report, report server temp these are the two databases which creates that next server credentials okay next okay next it here it is uh, creating those databases so once the database is created here there is no need to click on apply beca because it is automatically taken and uh, next if you go to report manager url here you can give the virtual directory name again the name whichever is applicable for you so here i'm giving a rep uh, reports as a name and the url if you see here it's taking like uh, http berry pc this is my computer name dot at the port by default port number and slash the reports the folder where we are going to deploy our reports so apply this So once the URL has been successfully created here, uh, next we have like email settings. Uh, this settings will be done to send the reports to particular mail IDs when they need it. So right now I'm not going to create any mail mail settings. I'm going to be doing here. And execution account, we can give the suppose we have several reports in the reporting server manager server. So what we do, we give uh, credentials for the each and uh, every report so that uh, user has uh, security privileges for that encryption keys this is to back up the keys which we create here so these are just a server instances so we no need to change anything here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and click on this url 
hopefully this should create uh, home page for me report so home page should be displayed here let me see if we face any errors here mm. just taking some time to open that link since it's the first time it's opening this link it may take some time so you can see here the database instance reseller is not valid for rating the reporting services the database engine does not meet the it's not supported in the editions of the reporting services so we are facing some uh, problem here so it's better to open this link through the uh, admin through the admin so what i'm going to do i'm going to right click and run as an administrator i it's filling through some privileges issues there so what i'm going to do i'm going to type this link here what i was there http berry pc so what i So I'm going to. So this issue is again. I'm facing the same issue here. Okay, there's some issue in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just again uh, going to. change this port to local host go to advanced edit this by giving a local host okay Changing all on assign to and apply this. So click on this link. I just click on this web service uh, reporting server because this is a end user uh, link where we see this this was a end user link but we see this, this is again failing I think there's a problem with the database engine which engine which we created here so I'm going to cross check it again database So I am going to change this database, choose an exiting report server, next, the server name, I am going to give the I am going to select that report server and moreover before going to this we need to um, 
provide the server instances which we are not provided here so if you go here and uh, connect to this this is a server instance which I'm server name so I'm just going to copy this and paste it here provide the access connect this and check whether that uh, report server databases exist or not here if we don't exist any report server so what we do we need to do, we need to create that if it doesn't exist here okay report server this is a default database name so I kept it to unchanged the first mistake what we have done is we have not uh, uh, set up the database properly in that server instance we have not created that so that's the issue we are facing in now while opening that URL okay once this is done Finish this. Go to here and give the host address name as a local host. Okay. Okay. This is the. Uh, link which we have for the report server now this is a database which is created in this instances report server demo and this is the report manager url so we'll try to open that web uh, report service url now open the ie in the run as administrator before that we'll provide the link there it is nothing but HTTP now I am providing the local host here local host colon 80 this is a port number this is a directory which we have named it as report server so hoping this time it works here yeah you can uh, see this is working fine as expected but uh, there is one more thing what we need to there is a graphical user interface which you will be will be most excited to like see front end so what i do is we just need to give the link as this one the re report manager url localhost reports so what i'll do i'll just uh, localhost instead of this I'll give in the next tab new tab what was there reports is there so we get a clear like a nice graphical user interface the home page for the report serving server here you don't find anything because you are not uh, deployed any reports into the server so we don't see any server reports here see this is the home page how you can be view this so this url is from the report manager url this when you click on this reports this page will open you open for you so here you can create a new folder do deploy your uh, ssrs here i'll just show you uh, 
in my next tutorial i'll just show you the uh, sample uh, creation of the ssrs ssrs report and uh, how to deploy that using this path we need to provide for that uh, the path which we need to provide in the target source for the deployment is this uh, localhost 80 report server uh, in the next video i am going to show you how to deploy this using this url to this site uh, thank you for watching this video